Hello, my name is Ted Stevens. I'm the Rail and Transit Solutions Executive for Bentley Systems. I spend my life traveling around the world, talking to railways, finding out what they want to do, bringing those ideas back into Bentley, and helping our people put together integrated rail solutions for you. Well, Bentley's chief customers are the major owner operators around the world for rail and transit, plus the engineering consultants who do all the design work for them. Well, the rail life cycle that we have in Bentley uh, covers the entire life cycle from uh, creating a railway and thinking about what you want to make and what you need to make through the design processes, through the construction process, right the way through to operations and maintenance, and eventually coming back to renewing that railway. The first step in any railway uh, uh, project is to look at the data assembly. It's bringing together information from all the various sources that we have, for example, from survey, from existing records, paper drawings, and from aerial photography, and assembling those into a form that is easy to use in the engineering process. And Bentley has a whole range of products and tools that do exactly that. We then take all the information that we put together during the data assembly process and use that for planning and looking at all the different options that you need to look at for creating the railway. And this might be looking at land ownership, GIS type solutions, looking at the environmental impact of the, of the railway and what that will mean in terms of noise propagations and things like that, looking at all of the other uh, population statistics for passenger ridership and things like that. So it's planning the railway and looking at it how it will functionally work and presenting that information to the public. Because most of the things that we, we do often require public funding, so we have to sell the idea to the public, perhaps making visualizations of our railway and showing those as TV commercials, that sort of thing. So, once you've uh, decided where the railway needs to be in, in outline, you then start going into the detailed design. Um, this is where you're starting to look at track and signaling systems and power and electrification systems. Now, in Bentley, what we've done is we've integrated all of these together so that you can work between all the different disciplines and deliver an integrated solution that you know will work together. And then to go with that, we also have all the solutions for doing things like buildings and uh, utilities and su uh, power supply for the buildings, uh, air, air conditioning, heating and ventilating as well. So if you're starting to look at the stations and the ancillary buildings, we have all of that capability as well, not just the normal line-based disciplines that you think of for railways, which is traction, traction power, track and signaling. We built all this wonderful data during the design process. The next step, of course, is projecting that onto the construction site. So it's doing things like construction sequencing, working out what you're going to build, what order you're going to build it in, making sure you have enough space to do all the construction work, all the layout space and things like that. So that's construction sequencing. That's where we bring in our products like Navigator for the sequencing and animation tools. Taking that information, putting it onto site with the on-site products, gathering information about the as-built and then bringing that back into the design office to check that you have built what you were supposed to build. With the Navigator product, what we can do is we can take uh, the project program and connect that to the 3D model that you built during your design phase. So you can check the reality of whether you can in fact do the construction work that you need to do and that you're going to build things in the right order. This is really important to us because it allows us to show everybody what they're supposed to be doing, when they're supposed to be doing it, and where they're supposed to be working at any particular time. When you're delivering railway projects, it's almost like choreography. It's organizing a dance that you're trying to do. So something like Navigator, which allows you to show this relationship between the program and the sequence of work and the reality of it in a, in a computer model, uh, and being able to show that to lots of different people who are involved in delivering that piece of work is absolutely critical to its efficient delivery. Once you've built the railway, or as you're building it, just as you're approaching the delivery of that railway, the next step is actually to teach the operational staff how to operate that railway in advance of your opening. So, 
what you do is you take all the information that we've built during the design process and then take that into virtual reality type tools to show people how they're going to operate this railway and to teach them things like how to drive through the railway and what the signaling system will look like has huge benefits to us in that it brings forward the opening date of the railway because people go into the railway knowing how to use it and how to operate it. Key benefits in something like this is it means that the train drivers will start operating the railway with full, a much better, fuller working knowledge of how the thing works. So for example, they will know what the signal system does, what it's telling them to do. They will be much more familiar about the characteristics of the railway. For example, when they should be braking at stations and those sorts of things. And it means that they can come bring, you can bring forward the full operational capability of the railway much earlier uh, by doing something like this. Operating and maintaining the railway, of course, represents a much larger proportion of the operational cost of that railway over a period of, say, 25 years. Building the railway represents something like only 20% of the cost of the railway in its 25-year in its life cycle. Operating and maintaining the railway is the further 80%. Now, what we've done in Bentley is chosen to focus on the track asset and how to operate and maintain that most efficiently because that is delivering or costing you something like 40% of the cost over that period. So we built the Optran product that is exactly matched to doing that job and it brings together information about asset management, about track condition, about the operational characteristics of the railway and presents it to the engineers who, who are responsible for maintaining the track to make better quality, more cost effective decisions. Optram delivers to you the ability to look at many different types of data at the same time, whether it's enterprise asset management, uh, operational characteristics, or track condition to make better quality decisions. So, eventually you come back up around to renewing this railway after about 25 years and all the data that you've gathered through this process of creation of the railway, building it, maintaining it for 25 years, you need to have that information for the renewals process. And that's where tools like ProjectWise come into their own. By, they give you this long-term persistent data store to give you the sustainable railway. So, why is Bentley unique? Well, Bentley is the only company that is capable of delivering an integrated solution across the whole life cycle of the railway, who have the requisite rail knowledge to deliver these solutions and to provide a sustainable solution for the long term.